artists, you know, whatever, you name it, they got skills. So big shout out, of course, right there to Uptown for, you know, just providing a stage comfortable enough for people to showcase those skills. Now, speaking of stages where people are about to showcase some skills, let's talk about these two players right here, Dar. They have done some absolute damage here in this bracket, and now they're getting ready to do some damage here to each other once more. Yeah, so when we said it was a little bit tough, we saw a couple of unfortunate SDs with evil. I feel like just the biggest thing, you gotta watch out, you're going over the commitments. You gotta make sure that you're not leaning in too much to some of these hits. Evil is gonna be sticking it out with the set. Losers, finals of DTN 2022. Top four rush down. Let's get it. Let's get it here, my friend. Striking blood first right here is evil evil's hungry he said look we ain't gonna let you repeat history twice okay that first match was infinity war this one's end game okay this one ends with me getting that w but green falcon though coming off a lot of momentum as well too that last game was a nail biter and if nothing else to take away from that last match you know for sure that them hands is warmed up so this one pretty oh, yeah. dead even right here from the jump right now. Evil trying to stay underneath that platform and really showcase a lot of that falling up their action that we've seen the first time these two interacted. Oh, and such a good landing, though. Just immediately okay. able to get out of uh, Evil's immediate area of effect. Mm -hmm. Backing off a little bit, slowing it down, looking to get that heavy jump call out. Swung first. Green Falcon played second beat and found that with punish. Oh, back it up. He said, I'm bursting hands off the tunic. Uh, tunic belly jacket. I don't know what the hell he got on, but he's kind of a fly guy, though, OK? Oh, yeah. It takes, it, it takes some confidence to swing like that. And then, of course, wear a jacket that little. And right here, Seth right here said, look, I'm as stylist as they come on and off the sticks. Oh, but wait a minute. He said, you're a lot of flash, but I got the fire for you, my friend. Green Falcon looking good. Yeah, okay, and just trying to dash in there. And wow, Evil doesn't actually find a whip on a Shenna. He whiffed his grab, but he's going out there through the edge guard, using up the boost to be able to get some of your resources back. You live another day. You're gone last hit. How much more juice can you squeeze out of the stock? Well, that is the million dollar question. We'll see how well he can answer. Nothing off the rising upper, gets the falling upper, then the porter pushing him off stage. He said, nah, we out. Wait a damn minute now, Seth. Evil said, look, if I'm going down, I'm going down swinging. 62 HP actually ain't a horrible spot for him to be in because at the end of the day, you still have to approach to get this job done. I'm much longer than you. I can play the short hop near game, the fall away aerial game, and really outspace you. Then, of course, I have the mix of action Ooh. that is my Rekka, and I'm wrecking shop here. Yeah, that charge up special as well, just dealing so much damage. Able to land back down to the ground and tries to go through it all with that swing. Evil able to get that with punish, finds himself an opening to get back onto the stage. Mm -hmm. Doesn't get that recovery that he was looking for. He doesn't get that up in. Just dashing in, dashing out. Good block from Green Falcon. But, yo. Yo, my lordy lord. Okay. Nice has to burn a little bit of the meter. He guys has to blink back in. And that, that's, that's the tough part of playing these two characters. You know, I think people look at a character like Ashani and think, oh, she's the best character in the game. It's free, you know, the movement, blah, blah, blah. But honestly, it's the manageability of that meter that really you know, like separates the good Ashani's from the great Ashani's. And I think we're seeing that come out most notably here oh. with the green falcon. And, a classic. Uh, He's done this a couple of times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Everybody's guaranteed one SD. He, Maybe two. Maybe two. Oh, man. Okay, that okay. just needs a way to be able to make it back. Has to use up his boost and so early onto the stock, too. I hope that doesn't come back to bite him later. Really good roll back, right? Just able to avoid that upstrike oh. under the platform. Okay, nice. Couldn't get the neutral special, but off the mark right there for the forward air. Down tilt, up underneath that platform, and this is where oh. he was at his most dangerous. That Seth Copter comes out. I'm trying to spin and damn it, I'm trying to win. Yeah, just able to get past that, still alive a little bit longer. Up specials onto the stage. I think Green Falcon anticipated him going to the ledge. Tries to go for another up special, doesn't connect it, doesn't get that combo. Mm -hmm. And it's getting scary hours right now. Down tilt in the corner. And nice to fake out off the ledge. He said, just when you thought it was safe to recover high, rest assured, my friend, it is not. Okay. Oh, it doesn't fall off the platform like okay. he intended. He got stuck a little bit. What a parry. What a punish. That's going to be the stock. And see, this is what I'm talking about. Like, when a shiny is played at this level and they're this comfortable in the matchup, it only means something terrible for the other side. The fact that you're able to get, yeah, I know you're longer than me. I'm going to let you swing as scarily and as angrily as possible. I'm going to scout out the parry. Boom, got you covered. And that is kind of the issue with some of the sorties in this game. Yes, I got the record, but sometimes you kind of fall into a very comfortable rhythm where the approach options just start to become a little linear. Okay, wait a minute. What you doing off stage? There's the burst. Now oh, we out. Yeah, gonna be off stage with two few resources. This is still doable. You still have boost. Oh. No, at 44 HP. So have a bit of a comeback to make. But the question is, is it possible? You make it back on. That neutral is gonna give you the coverage you're looking for. Advantage take combos. Up special. Uh -oh. oh my god. He's, I'm bursting. He's I'm bursting. I'm getting the entire hell up out of here. Not gonna have any more of that. 
Okay, this is getting a little uncomfortably close here for, uh, you know, for Green Falcon. Evil right now said, you know what? If I'm going down, I'm going down swinging. I'm going down big. Seven HP left. I don't got nothing to yep. lose at this point. Oh, he said, wait a minute. You got a lot to lose, my friend. You got a game number one to lose. Last hit on the horizon. <gasps> Tries to go out there, too. Doesn't get that stop. Makes oh, it back on, but you damn. saw all of that lag. He was stuck in that lag. Green Falcon able to get on there. He was all out of resources and then just clutched it up when he needed that game most. Yeah, I got to give it to Levi. I, you know, he came over to Crib, like I mentioned a little bit before, and freed me right the hell up. It happens, okay? It happens to the best of us. I play the boom, just the commentator card, so don't feel yep. too good about that. But uh, it's just nice to see a developer, you know, somebody who works on the back end of this with as much passion as he has. You can see he wears it on his sleeve, or I guess his lack there of sleeve right this there. Game. Yeah, you know, you got to have love for what you do, you know, and I think his way of showing love is, you know, get a little... Uh, you know, getting a little frustrated with himself. But that's you only get frustrated with yourself when you know that you are a poised competitor. It's the sign of your emotional investment just so shows yes. like, hey, I don't want to be playing like this. I'm emotionally attached to this. Facts. I want to win. When you want to win, when you play to win, that's how you put enough pressure on yourself to be able to get that thing done. Goes through the backfield, gets that up special, and still gets another one. But what a parry from Green Falcon coming in. Just the perfect timing to get out of that disadvantage. Oh, 100%. And on the topic of pressure, I mean, nobody was applying it as well as Evil right there. I mean, even just walking a little bit out of harm's way knew, okay, they're going to try to parry me because they know that they're in the corner and they think I'm going to go for back air. I'm just going to walk right out. Boom, rinse and repeat the moment right there. There's the block. Nothing out of the corner. And wait a minute. The movement up from Ashani showing us. I got the moves right here. Okay, just trying to scout out, trying to shoot and up. And not going to be able to find it quite yet. Oh, it doesn't get it either. That flag is a little bit too big. It always seems like Green Falcon just going the opposite side of whichever uh, evil is covering with his up -ins. And Green Falcon, I mean, just fearless right here. Staring Woo! danger in the eye, but don't get too close right there because, look, I do a lot of bark and also do a lot of biting in the neutral, said evil. Clean stuff. Oh, my goodness, but not clean enough. Green Falcon keeping this one airtight as you should. You can't give somebody like evil a, any bit of a lead. We've seen how just dangerous that it was. In that oh, last that wait. Okay. That wait for any immediate Backer. options. That wait for any mashes out of disadvantage. Comes back on with the up special Levi. Able to reverse the situation for himself. Tries to go through the neutral and coverage. Oh. Didn't find it. Oh, my God. There's a downer. Nice. He's going to have to go for the burst. No, wanted to force it, though. It's record time right here, and I'm ready to wreck some shots. Oh, yeah. Okay, yes, trying to swing. Good parry. We've seen a lot of parries Woo. come out right here from Green Falcon. It's time to flip the script. Evil, so I can do that, too. So I'm you in a lot of ways. Say less, fam. Mm -hmm. Okay, back up on the ledge. Backing okay. up a little tiny bit, just waiting, being a little bit patient. Finally is able to find the Green Falcon up until that point. Has jumped up over all of those. When he needed the most, Evil found it, but he was too late to convert off of it. Green Falcon had to use his boost. Evil had to use his boost. Now they're both on third stock at similar uh, damage. That's right, both without the burst manageability of your tools coming back to bite. Evil right here in the behind now. I got to give it to Green Falcon. 15 HP is not a bad spot to be in because, yes, you typically have to do the approaching. You know, you got the good footwork, the great maneuverability, but now you have the lead. They got to come to you. And he said, if you ask, I, you shall receive, my friend. Evil said, save oh, yeah. less. We got it airtight right now. Okay, nice. Bit of a clank. Clash right there. Excuse me. Okay, okay. able oh. to land down with that neutral. He backs off a little bit just in case there are any immediate dash attempts from Green Falcon. Was able to stuff it out. Okay, are you going to get that tech chase? Not quite. Just able to block it in time. Evil just being so patient. Okay. Patience is a virtue, but sometimes you don't want to be too patient. You can't give a player like Green Falcon this much time to think. As you can see right here, gets on the opposite side, and this is good position here from Evil. He said, look, I'm just giving you less is more right now. I'm going to force you to make the mistake for me. Standing jab in the corner, nothing off the downer. The rinse and repeat. Hanging him out to dry right here, though, on the ledge. Wait a minute. Oh, gets that stun, but doesn't actually convert with the up special that he was looking for. That's such a big combo tool, but able to get that spike using the boost to cancel that knockback. Green Falcon used it up, uh, and Evil still has his to play with, so he definitively has a lead. The question is, will he be able to make it back on? We shall see. Evil right now looking hungry. Don't bite off more than you can chew, though, my friends. He said, look, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm just going to back off. I know you ain't coming back. I'm definitely not trying to reset you out here. She's out of oh, yeah. a burst. I'm looking good. Out of a burst. And I think was out of meter there as well, too. So right now, Evil with a bit of a lead. Let's see how well they can milk this one. We didn't get to see too much of this when they first met earlier. Oh, so. what a combo. And going ah. out there, too. Evil just a little bit too low for you to actually fully connect. Can you make it back onto the stage? Burst. Has to use the boost. This is a huge deficit to be in. Okay. Okay, nice. There's the back here, right here. Coming high off the platform right there. Nothing off the falling up air. Again, that is a pretty good party starter right here in Evil's toolkit. Mm -hmm. Another back air. 
Nice respawning, now 94 HP. Benone this is boost. still doable. Yeah, that means you can't get out of disadvantage. The next big combo from Evil. Look how much damage it is dealing. You can't interrupt it. You don't have that kind of luxury at this point in time. <gasps> wow. Shit. That was a big Evil said, I got to start living up to the name here. Ain't nothing nice about what went on in that final interaction. Evil looking <laughs> good. But let's see what... Green Falcon can bring here to the next game. Both of them like felt that one. You just yeah. like saw it in like the reactions. That was just beautiful stuff. Dashing in, dashing out, able to catch that jump with that up special, beautiful stuff, and charging Jeez. it up all the way. You have no options at that point. You don't have boost. You can't get out of that kind of situation. And you see both of them felt that water yeah, pop off. I felt that one too. And all you can do is just really give it, you know, saying like the, the game two head now. Like, you know what? That was clean. You got that one. You earned yeah. that one. All right, but let's see what this next one is going to bring us here. Now, a bit of a bit of a different vibe here, of course. No platform, so that kind of switches up the matchup just a little bit here. Of course, can't just stand up underneath and shark like what we've seen so notably before from Evil. But on the flip side too, platform extension is no longer a thing. The floor is indeed going to be lava in a lot of these interactions, most notably here from the Seth. It oh. don't seem to matter. Up into the magnifying glass we go, where I'm gonna drop you off. Nobody knows. Such an early stock. This is the best possible way for Green Falcon to have opened off this. Game three. So now, uh, just gonna be trying to lock down some of the spacing. Goes for that F two. Okay. okay. Oh, but then doesn't get that evil. Just gonna be coming back on with a hitbox. Carved himself an opening. Okay. Trying to milk this lead here, but unfortunately can't get the job done. Nice turning a bad situation into a good one. And that's what I think I've really grown to love about Green Falcon in this match. Is if you with anything, if that combo string ain't airtight, best believe I'm getting back to solid ground before you and your ass in some trouble. Oh, this is like my watching DBZ sometimes. You know, they're just like whooping all over the place. That is, wow. This, this match is just like so high octane all the way through. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. oh. In, 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 interesting. Okay. Everybody gets one. Everybody gets, gets one. I don't know if you want to use game. this. Yeah. One each game, potentially five in a single set. Happens to the best of us. He's going to try to keep this even. He's going to try to keep it competitive, but uh, oh, man. Um, this is, um. well, this is, uh. things are happening. All right, things I feel are like constantly that's the best happening. Way to put it. That's right. Things things are happening here. But one thing I can't ignore that's happening is that Green Falcon has a very commanding lead and is not looking to let it up at all. Now, of course, we have seen Evil mount some in extreme comebacks, but Green Falcon not looking to let that happen oh. here on this game. A three stock victory, 105 HP. This ain't no type of good here for Evil. And that's one of the only times that Green Falcon has been able to get that extension. You saw how many times he went for it, how many times he committed offstage, how many times it whiffed. That time around, he was able to finally space it accordingly, able to catch Evil dropping down low. Wasn't uh, a little bit too high, didn't release it too soon. The spacing, the timing was immaculate, but man, you gotta clean up those SDs. You gotta get your head into the game. You gotta, you gotta tap in, and that's for sure. Evil right now, I mean, I gotta keep it a stack. You know, he has a, a sports background as well, too, so he knows a thing or two about competing at high level. As a, I think he's a professional fencer. So, I mean, he knows what it takes. The issue is, you know, it could just be a little bit of nerves. Not exactly yep. sure, but hopefully they can tighten it up because I'm going to just call it for what it is. You ain't really got no choice but to tighten it up right now. Your back is against the wall. Oh, what a parry as well. Being able to find an opening just like that. Tries to go through the grab, whips okay. it, but that oh, does not matter. One my. spike, and then just still catches that high recovery attempt as evil as antsy. That's right. Antsy, anxious oh. to make it back onto the stage. Nice, gets the downer spike, and even though it wasn't enough to get the stock taken, Mesh is definitely sent next day air right there. It said it's coming right to your doorstep. Watch how you, watch how you recover. Nice, nothing off the up air again. Probably thought that they were going to try to drift back on that top platform. Oh, tried to jump beforehand, but the active hitbox oh. on the upper gave him the proper coverage. Yeah, didn't get the, like, the drag down up that he was looking for. And now all it's going to take is just two more hits to be able to close out this stock as well. This is not an amazing position to be in here if you're evil. You have to slow down the pace of the game. How do you actually make it onto the ledge? You do not. You get a little bit too far out. You end up ground pounding to that bottom blast zone. Yeah, and it almost felt like too, he was like, I just got to go ahead and down her anyway because whatever she's going to do, even a slight poke with down tilt at, at the ledge so I'm not snapping right away is enough to get it done. So I'm just going to oh. do it to myself right here. Down there, message sent. Okay, boom. Evil didn't use up his boost. He made it back onto the stage without using it, which I was so scared about. I was anticipating like another spike attempt from Green Falcon, but luckily he's alive another day. Yeah, he lived quite another day, but for how much longer is the real question Woo! right there? Yes, last hit on deck, respawning back in. Okay, nice. And as you know, you got uh, you got vulnerability until you decide to attack and let him kind of use that, that force, that presence right there, and then let them attack, boom, parry. And I start to force the advantage more in my favor again. 8 HP, though, here left on Evil. This is not looking good.
down air. Just, you know, just fades back, just keeping it safe, not committing oh, a little bit damn. too much. And look at the good way that you get. You don't have to commit to an edge guard. You don't have to do too much. Sometimes minimalistic, keep it safe, and you just get a clean hit in advantage. Yeah, less as well. I mean, it just, again, the, the corner control, I just feel like has been such an absolute... Oh. Wait a minute. Now, hold up. Wait a minute. I was just giving him her praise. Corner control is looking so good for Green Falcon, but the immediate SD kind of giving Evil a second lease on life here in this game. We'll see what they can do to it. Don't mess it up. You don't get second chances this often. Oh my gosh, tries to go through the double floater too. But a really good boost out of this advantage though. Able to live a little bit longer, but now you have no boost. You get 43%. Doesn't get the grab though. A little bit too much pushback. Nice command grab. Now see, I'm a little curious to see what will happen when you catch the overextensions on Ashani's behalf. You know, anytime that Evo went for an overextension, Green Falcon was like, okay, boom, I'm back to the corner right before you are, and I'm keeping you out here off stage. We don't really see that same presence of mind here from Evil. Don't know if it's a magic thing or a stage thing, but oh. no, it don't seem to matter because it ain't a second life thing, that's for sure. One stock left right here on this game. Green Falcon looking poised and ready. Not able to go out there through that spike. Has to make it somehow back onto the stage. Green Falcon, what a parry, what a grab as well. Gets a fantastic little punish, but not able to convert it into an offstage uh, situation. Okay, they're going to spend some meter right here. Are we going to blink around? No meter right here on Seth's behalf. And has a burst. Nice. Going to go ahead and use it. Understood something scary was coming. Something evil was coming, if you will. He had to. He had to, but now all of a sudden you go off stage two stocks to one resources becoming more and more finite as time goes on. Okay. Okay, pops one burst right there. Seth without any meter looking to start up the record here. Green Falcon looking as strong as ever, and that meter starting to build back up. The movement option is gonna become even more prevalent here in this match. Uh oh, don't don't touch the ground though. Yeah, avoided okay. it completely. Goes through the down throw yet again. Not going to be able to get off stage in time, though. Oh. F to go through stage control instead. Oh, oh no, no, oh, no. What a tech, though. Okay, but nice last hit on deck right there. And with that in mind, my friends, Green Falcon is going to move on to Grand Finals. It feels like that match could have went a little bit of a different direction had we spent more time on stage, but it just felt like not only was the corner control in Green Falcon's favor, the offstage gameplay was just something we could not ignore. Evil's going to drop down to third. Here we are in Grand Finals, yep. my friends. Wow. This is, like, so important to make sure that you're holding on to your resources. It's not often that in platform fighters you have resources outside of dodges and jumps. 